that we are meant to be. You say nothing at all when we meet, yet somehow I know your history. Oh, come what may, I'm ready. Hello, Kix is here, and welcome everyone to this exciting video about inks and calligraphy nibs and pens. Before we start the video, grab yourself a cup of tea, coffee, hot drink, butter and like this video so you can reach more people. So today I thought I will bring you with me and share my newest pen and this is a gift from Tom's studio and I got a calligraphy pen with the one deep nib and this is something super new they have in their store and this is the sterling sil silver option and basically when you attach this one to your deep pen you can create line variation i'm gonna zoom in a little bit later and show you how and i thought i could bring you with me and i can explore how i create art using it and because there are not a lot of videos about this product, I thought it could be interesting for someone who is thinking of, about maybe getting it. And also on top of that, I'm going to play with inks. So I recently got these uh, Dr. P.H. Martin Bombay inks. I never had anything from Dr. P.H. Martin, but uh, these are light, fast and waterproof. And I thought this could be really fun thing to try and I actually bought primary colors and I also bought this tiny little five milliliter tubes so I thought I could mix colors together with you all so I think what I'm going to do I'm going to mix colors and get some specific tones because I don't paint a lot with primaries but I'm really excited about mixing colors so I think that's what I will do first and then we are going to play with the new nib, which is super exciting. And also, this is the pen I got from the Tom Studio as well as a gift. And this is Bloom pen. And I think this is in mulberry color. And I wasn't expecting to get this one because I already have... I already have one from their products this is the flourish pen and this is perfect for calligraphy with the oblique style of nib and i actually tried this one already with writing and i realized i'm really because i'm using this all the time i got used to the oblique style of nib so now i just write with this all the time whereas this one I think will be perfect for drawing. So I think after I will mix my inks, I'm gonna explore the painting slash drawing with it.
Hello back. So I was just mixing the Dr. PH Martin Bombay inks and I only bought primaries, which you can see over here. And what I did, I mixed like different variations and I also wrote some notes so I can see what kind of colors I have because I really wanted to mix my own color palettes and I got these tiny little glass jars and uh, color mixing just really helped me to understand which colors I want to have in, in here and which I don't. And uh, if you look here, you can see like more variations. So I mix quite a lot and it was really fun to see how I can get like the more moody, more moody type of colors and some which are brighter. So this was really fun. And this was me cleaning the paint palette and I love all these muted tones and I thought what I will do right now I'm gonna play a little bit with the Tom Studio Bloom pen and I'm gonna try the new nib out because I haven't tried it yet I think this will be perfect for drawing because I think like these oblique style of pens are more for writing rather than drawing and yeah, so I'm going to try out this nib. This is something similar like Kakimori, brand Kakimori does. Okay, so this is the nib and there is like area here and I'm just going to press it in. I hope I'm doing it right. I need to press it like really deep in. So this is how it looks. This is the stainless steel option. And as I understand, if you open this slightly up, there could be different hairline widths. So it can go from 0 0.1 millimeter to 0 0.4. And so yeah, let, let's just try it out. This is my first impressions. It was really hard to put it in though, but I hope it will be better. Let's just grab the ink straight from the tube. Okay, I'm gonna dip it in now. Okay. Oh wow, okay. I can get like variations from different angles. Let's make it as close as possible. Okay, this is really thin. It's a little bit scratchy, but I think it's, it's really interesting. One thing I forgot to mention is this nib included a tiny little sandpaper and I think you can make it a little bit less scratchy if that is something you don't like. So it can glide more across the paper. I think what I will do, I really want to continue mixing my own inks and I'm going to do illustration using these inks and this pen and try to create something new and interesting. I might go and do some bird sketches with these. First impressions, I'm really impressed how, how much ink it holds. Uh, it's a little bit scratchy, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, I think I can get used to it. It reminds me of glass pen, but this is like upgraded version because you can have like a lot of line variations.
last time For everything and everyone So yesterday I sketched this spread using the one dip pen and I compiled all the things I really enjoy about this pen and things I didn't like about this pen and I thought it would be interesting to share. So first of all, I really love the line variation. As you can see, it can create like these small tiny lines and then you can kind of work like on the side and get like these thicker lines like here or something like that and that is something I really enjoyed it felt more like sketchier and looser style of work and I think it's just great that it's all in one pen and um, what else I really liked it holds a lot of ink and uh, you can work without dipping all the time you can just sketch and then dip once in a while I also like the, uh, the feel to the paper. I know for some people it's like really scratchy. For me, it felt uh, really pleasant. And there was like this tiny little sandpaper included. So I added, like I sanded it down a little bit and it worked wonders. Another thing which I really liked was how sturdy the nib is. It feels like it can last for a long time. You don't need to replace it all the time. And some things I didn't enjoy about this pen, it doesn't go all the way through. And I'm, I don't know how to show it, but it doesn't like as much as I want to press it in. Either the holder is not perfect match for this nib or maybe, maybe this is not perfect match for the pen. I don't know. But anyways, it still works. It's just not all the way through. And I cannot like press it like as much as I want uh, to get it in. Another thing which I didn't like is it was so hard to clean. But I think it was mainly my fault because I used waterproof ink and the consistency was a little bit thicker. Um, you saw me creating new ink colors from the Dr. P.H. Martin Bombay series. And I have to say that 
they are really gorgeous colors which I mixed and I have like these really natural like tones in these small little tubes but I think the consistency it's better if the ink is like a little bit more liquidy whereas this is like more thicker it reminds me a little bit of the calligraphy ink which I have from Tom's studio and it's got like this feel when you touch it to the paper you feel where you put the ink in and I feel if I would use different ink it would be much easier to clean but it took me ages to clean it and I guess if you use waterproof ink you need to wash it as soon as possible and I didn't do it and that's why it it got me into problems. So yeah, these are the things I don't like and things I like. I thought it would be interesting to share in case you, if you are wondering about this pen as well. Um, I think the nib can fit into different holders. You just need to look for the, the insert mechanism. I think it's similar like in the Kakimori steel nib. Uh, so yeah, this is how it worked. Mm, things I've realized about these small little glassy tubes is it's really hard to dip it in and therefore I think these small tubes which I mixed are the best with just the uh, brushes and that's how I will use them. I did dip in to this one which was much easier to dip in uh, because it's like it's a bigger diame diameter to use and I thought I could share the colors I mixed actually. So these are the ink colors I mixed from these three primaries. And as you can see, like they're much more muted and toned down. I still will use these colors. I think it's just not with this pen because it was hard time to clean it. I thought I could try this writing ink made from guns, but I'm really afraid to use it with the steel nib because I had experience when I used it in calligraphy that the nibs, uh, the top of the nib, they changed color and maybe that's like some kind of reaction with the ink. And I think from now on I will use this ink with brushes instead of nibs because it changes color slightly. I really want to create a loose sheet paper illustration and I thought I could use uh, waterproof ink but which is more liquidy rather than these India inks. So I I took all the samples from the fountain pen inks I have and I think there are a few more which are not on the sheet and I tested them out and I have four colors which are waterproof and Two of them are light fast, so I will use uh, one of these and I will create a tiny little owl on this sheet of paper. So that's, I think that's what I will do for the last part of this video. I hope it's been fun to see behind the scenes of exploring new techniques and exploring color mixing. I know some of you really enjoyed watching mixing videos in the past and I haven't done that for quite a while. So I hope you enjoyed looking through how I mix all these inks. I also want to quickly mention that uh, I am affiliate with Tom Studio. So some of the products have been sent to me for free to review, but all my thoughts are my own. And if you really like this product, I'm going to link it down below. I do have affiliate link.
I thought I will do one sketch with an owl, but I really enjoyed sketching it, so I grabbed scrap papers and I sketched some more. And overall, I really enjoyed the experience. I really like how expressive Disney bees is. It can get like such a huge variety, and I think it's more interesting to look at. And even like for this one, you can see the lighter lines, and then I went with the darker tones. So it's huge variety, and I really enjoyed working with this nib. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you want to let me know, you still stay till the very end of the video, write in the comments Tom's studio, so I will know. And before I end the video, I want to thank my lovely Patreons for supporting me over there and allowing me to work on this bird book. And please put the notifications on over here on YouTube and also subscribe to my Substack. I will mention the post about the book over there and I will, yeah, I will try to mention it everywhere. So keep on watching my videos and you will know when the book is launched. Um, yeah, thank you so much. I will see you super soon. Have a good day, evening, morning, wherever you are and see you later. Bye.